Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today's lesson is about differentiation. Okay, let us begin our lesson by exploring the concept of first derivative. If you have y equals to e x to the power of n, and then okay, the first derivative will be represented by dy by dx. So the way to pronounce this is to say dy by dx. So the concept of this is very easy. You bring power down, so you have to bring n down, so you have to write n here. And then e x to the power of n minus 1. So there are two basic concepts in first derivative. To find dy by dx, you have to bring power down and power minus 1. For example, if you have y equals to 3x to the power of 4. Okay, find the first derivative. To find the first derivative, you write dy by dx. So dy by dx is the first derivative. Now we do the process. You bring power down. So you bring 4 down. So you have to times 3 times 4. And then you subtract 1 from the power, the original power, which is 4 minus 1. And then you simplify. You would have 3 times 4 is 12. 12 and then x to the power of 3. So this is the first derivative of y equals to 3x power 4. So you divide by the x equals to 12x power 3. Okay, moving to second example. Okay, sometimes the question will give you fx. If you are given fx equals to okay, 1 over 2 x squared. Okay, the first derivative when you have fx is to write f prime x. If you have y, then you write dy by dx. But if you have fx, so to find the first derivative, the way we represent first derivative is to write f prime x. So this is how we represent the first derivative. But before we find the first derivative, because your x in, is in your denominator of your fraction, we don't want that. You have to bring x up. So you don't bring the 2 up, you only bring x up. So you have 1 over 2, x to the power of negative 2. Now we are applying the concept of first derivative. To find first derivative, you bring power down. 1 over 2 is still 1 over 2. You bring negative 2 down, so you have 2 times here. And you subtract 1 from its power. So you have negative, one, negative 2 minus 1. And you simplify. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so you have negative 1. And then you have x to the power of negative 3. Okay, you can change back to fraction. So you would have negative 1 over x power 3. So this is the answer. Okay, let's say you are given number. Example, if I give you y equals to 10. Okay, this is very important. The first derivative of any number, regardless how big or how, how small the number is, it always will give you 0. Okay, I'm going to write dy by dx equals to 0. So for any number, when you differentiate with respect to x, because there's no x term here, even if you add x term, let's say you have um, you change a bit in your equation, you have uh, 10 x power 0. Okay, now 10 x to the power 0, when you bring 0 in front, so you have to times 10 times 0, so you, you would have 0. So dy by dx is always equal to 0 when you have number. So this is always 0. When you have like, for example, you have y equals to 10,000, 2 pi, whatever number. When you find dy by dx, it always give you 0. Moving to the fourth example. Let's say you have y equals to 5x times x squared minus 1. Okay, before we proceed to find dy by dx, you have to mem remember that you cannot simply apply this rule when you have bracket. So the first thing first is to remove the bracket first. So I'm still going to write y because I haven't done this process yet. So I'm going to expand the brackets. You have 5x times x squared gives you 5x cubed. 
and then you have 5x times 1 gives you negative 5x. Again, now when, when you do the process of finding uh, first derivative, which is dy by dx, so you bring power down, so 5 times 3, and then power minus 1, so 3 minus 1 gives you 2. Okay, 5x, uh, there's a 1 there, but they didn't write. So when you bring 1 down, you have 5 times 1, and then x to the power of 1 minus 1. Okay, now we are simplifying the expression. So 5 times 3 gives you 15. x square. Okay, look at this. Okay, x to the power of 0. So anything to the power 0 will give you 1. Hi everyone, sorry because my battery just ran out. So I'm going to explain to you example number 4 again. Okay, when you have y equals to 5x cubed minus 5x, when you differentiate, you find dy by dx, which is the first derivative. So you bring power down, so 5 times 3, and then power minus 1, so you get 15x squared. So differentiate um, of anything with x, example 5x, negative 5x will give you negative 5. Okay, let's say you have different term. For example, you have 10x, so differentiate 10x will give you? Yes, 10. Okay, what about differentiate uh, 20x? Yes, it's 20. So whenever you differentiate any term which has x, so the result will be, the x will be removed. So let's say you have negative 1 over 2x, uh, you want to differentiate negative 1 over 2x. So the dy by the x will be negative 1 over 2 only. So you just remove the x term. Easy to memorize. Moving to fifth example, but first I'm going to move my tripod so you can see the other side of um, the page this is example number five let's say you are given hx equals to x bracket x plus one times x minus five Okay, first, like I said before, you cannot simply differentiate that without removing removing the fraction. So we got to remove the fraction first. We haven't done the process yet, so you, you still need to write hx equals to. Okay, you open um, these two bracket first. You, so x will be x. So you times x times x first. So you have x squared. X times negative five gives you negative five x. Negative 1 times x gives you negative x. Negative times negative will be positive. 5 times 1 will be 5. Okay, now you open the bracket again. So you got x cubed minus 5x squared. Oh, sorry, I have to simplify first. Okay, never mind. I'll do it later. So negative x times x, negative x squared. And then plus 5x. Okay, these two terms can be simplified. So you have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5x. Similar to what we have here, when you have fx, when you do the process of bringing power down, power minus 1, you have to write f prime x. So in this case, you would have h prime x. So now we do the process, bring power down. So you have 3 and then x. Okay, power minus 1 gives you 2. Okay, now we do it fast. Okay, 6. Okay, you have to bring 2 down. So 6 times 2 gives you negative 12. And then x... Um, 2 minus 1 gives you 1. Okay, like I said before here, we have done it before. If you differentiate uh, negative 5x, it will give you negative 5. So when you differentiate negative, uh, sorry, positive 5x, you would expect to get plus 5. So this is the final answer. Example number 6. Let's say I give you fraction. Okay, y equals to x cubed plus 2. And the whole thing divide by x power 5. Okay, look at this term. Okay, there's a fraction there. Uh, before you do this process, you, you must simplify the fraction first. We cannot do this process straight away. We need to say you want to bring 3 down and 3 minus 1. Cannot, you cannot do that yet because you got a fraction there. So the first thing is to change your fraction a bit. So you have to simplify your fraction. So you have x power 3 over x power 5. And then plus the other value will be 2 over x power 5. Okay, now you simplify. 
Okay, x cube. That means there are three axes in your x cube. X five. That means there are five axes. So, when you cancel three from five, so you would have another two below. So, some of you have like something like this: x x x over x x x x x, and then. Okay, for this one, you just bring this up. So you have two x power negative five. So that means you can cancel the three x's. So you got only one over x square, which is um, x to the power of negative two. Or if you want to use indices law, when you have division, so you subtract the power. So three minus five will give you negative two. Okay, now when you want to apply the process of bringing power down, power minus one, you have to write dy by dx. So the dy by dx will be you bring power down, so you have negative 2x. So negative 2 minus 1 gives you negative 3. And then plus 2, bring negative 5 down, so you have your times negative 5. And then negative 5 minus 1 gives you negative 6. And you simplify, so you do have negative 2 over x cubed. And then positive negative will be negative 10. And then x to the power of 6. So this is the final answer. Okay. We are going to discuss the last example, example number 7. Okay, let's say you have gx equals to x plus 2 square and the whole thing over x. If you see this fraction, um, you cannot, like I said before, you have to make sure that you got only single x with power and there's nothing below your expression. The way to do this is to expand this term first. So we still have gx, not g prime x yet because we haven't done the process yet. So you expand this bracket using shortcut. First you square the first term, you would have x square. And then to find the middle term, okay, you simply multiply. 2 times 2 gives you 4. 4 times x gives you positive 4x. And the last term, you have 2 square, which is 4. And then you have everything over x. So this is over x, over x, and also this one over x. Okay, you cancel whatever term you can cancel. You have x square over x gives you x. And then plus 4, and then plus 4x to the power of negative 1. Okay, now you find g prime x. So, this is 1. Okay, differentiate any uh, term which is x. It will give you... Okay, this is 1x. Differentiate 1x gives you only 1. Okay, differentiate number. Like I said before, in example number 3, differentiate number will give you 0. So, this one is 0. You don't have to write anything. Okay, differentiate this term. You will have plus 4. You bring power down. So, negative 1 is there. And then negative 1 and minus 1 gives you negative 2. And then you simplify your answer. You will have 1 minus 4 over x squared. Okay, this is... um. Okay, I've got a few more explanations to explain later. So, can you copy everything that I wrote? On this book in your notes and then I'm going to give you one more example on differentiation of um, or maybe no uh, that won't be later so uh, I see you in the class so copy everything thank you